God, I am so glad that you are here. Right here in this very room with me. And Lord, there are so many different things that I want to ask you. But the question right now that's on my mind is, who are you? How do you fit in life? Because sometimes I think that we can keep you in a category. We can keep you in a corner. We can keep you in a space or we keep you just in the religious sect of society when you existed before there was a church, before there was a steeple, before there was a Bible, before there was any preacher. You existed. You are eternal. So how is it that it seemed like we park you in a certain spectrum? And I'm not talking about everybody, but I just believe that somebody is having the same thoughts that I'm having right about here now. And I'm excited about these thoughts, Father, because I feel like it brings on a greater growth. I feel like it unlocks some things for us. Um, who are you to the homemaker? Who are you to... Uh, the grandmother, who are you to the cab driver? Who are you to the airplane pilot? Who are you uh, to the politicians? Who are you? Uh, how do you fit in uh, our city structure, government? Uh, how do you fit in uh, society? How is it that we think of you when we go to the house of God that it seems like sometimes that's our focus. It seems like we come there, we worship you and we leave. But I know we leave with you and I know we pray and I know we uh, worship you at home and read our Bibles and all these things. But it seems like that's your station. But how can that be your station if you existed before all this stuff and all these things existed? So I just really like to know your input of who you are and um, what do you think about society at large? What do you think about the church? Uh, what's your opinion and your thoughts on how we treat you? Uh, do we make you feel welcome in our midst uh, as a people? As a, well, I won't say as a society because there's a lot of stuff going on out there. But even in the house of the Lord, do we make you feel welcome? Or do we still fit you in a little box inside the house of the Lord when we come together to worship you corporately? Or in our home life, do we try and fit you in a box? And I'm excited about this conversation. So I'm set, Father, to uh, listen because I really believe that we have dumbed you down we have made you too small uh we have categorized you and so i'm excited so i just want to welcome your holy spirit in this place and i just pray that you would just have your way and just unlock some things for us while we're here and uh i pray that you just be welcome that you have the flow of the house after all, it really belongs to you. I just pray that you just be glorified and magnified and we just bow the knee to you. And we just pray, God, that as we go forward, that fellowship and communion with you and I be a way of life. I don't just want to talk about religious stuff per se with you. I want to talk about life. I want to do life with you. So could you teach me how to do life? Um... Life outside the walls, life outside the church. I want to do life. I want to see what you see. I, I want to look at the flowers and I want to think about what you're thinking about. When you look at the flowers, I want to think about what you're thinking about when you look at the ocean and all that your hands have made and the beauty that you place here for us. 
I still think that we made you too small, God. And I'm excited today because I'm asking you to flex your muscles. I'm asking you to pull back the uh, curtains, the blinders off our eyes and let us see you. How do you fit in a society? And, and we look and we have so many different things going on in society. What's your thoughts about them? And how does the church really fit in? Are we really where you want us to be? Are we really doing what you want us to do? Are we really what you had in mind? But I'm glad that we have a hope today, praise God. And that's you. You are the God of hope. And we're hoping you take us to a new place of glory. So I'm set to listen. So I'm going to get a, a cup of tea and kick back. And uh, we're just going to have some conversation. So I'm just glad you could stop in, uh, my friend. And if you want to continue to listen in on the conversation with God and I, we will be back. God bless.